Hello? <laughs> Am I live? I think I got it working. It's a website, man. Hi. <clears throat> so, apologies for being late. I was meant to be live an hour 15 ago. Um, my... I just left for 15 minutes to go get some... a kebab plate. And I come back and there's an empty pack of chocolate in the living room. And I'm 95% sure that Sonny's eaten it. And it's quite a lot. It's, um, for those who are Swedish, a marabou. No, sorry, not even a marabou. A uh, para de sask. Which is 500 gram of chocolate. But it was about half empty. I'd eaten some. But it's still a lot. It's like 200 gram of chocolate. Milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. So I um, had to take him in. And unfortunately, Luna had to come as well to the emergency room. Because... Um, while I'm, while I was 95% sure that Luna wouldn't have eaten anything, because Luna is um, a good girl, I couldn't take the risk. So we made them both puke at the ER. They helped us. Um, so we gave, uh, they got to eat. Apparently their stomachs, it's a lot easier to puke if you're full. So they gave them some more food and then they um, injected them with something that gets them to puke. Um, yeah, Sonny puked. He was the culprit. He puked up. He did three large pukes, huge piles, and it was all brown and chocolatey. Um, and then he was fine. And he was just like, not even bothered, not nauseous or anything. He was just like, hmm? where is Luna? <laughs> Had these like 12 little innocent pukes over a half an hour period. None of it had chocolate in it. She's just such a good girl, and I knew she wouldn't have eaten any, but I had to check. And then, like, she after is like, <gasps> like, she's feeling, still feeling really nauseous. So we had to get another shot for her of, like, a reversal to get her to not feel nauseous. So I feel really sorry for her, and I fucked up. I, uh, I, I sh yeah, I just, I, it's my fault. It's not Sonny's fault, even though he's a fucking prick. <laughs> So, she's um, in the office next to me, recovering in a dark room, probably very tired. And Sonny's upstairs, having a sleep as well, feeling absolutely fine. <laughs> Not realizing that he almost, like, gave himself uh, poisoning, chocolate poisoning. This bad boy put me back a thousand dollars. Yeah. Hopefully the insurance will cover cover it but they probably they told me that it's kind of 50 50 they might not cover luna um but they said that they should cover sunny uh, they said we'll see it might be that they cover luna as well if so thank god for insurance we'll find out technically luna didn't have a life-threatening situation since there was nothing in her puke so they said it, it depends on the insurance so we'll find out after the weekend Why did it cost so much? Um, it was um, emergency room vet visit. That tends to cost a lot. I, and obviously them, they gave them this medicine that gets them to puke it up and stuff. Vet, vet, that's just vet prices. Vet prices are a lot. Never get a pet without insurance. Here's another example of how much a, having a dog can cost. In February, Luna had um, bladder stones a lot, a lot of bladder stones, um, and it was filled up. She couldn't, and it was a life-threatening situation. They told me if I hadn't come in, if I had waited a few more hours, uh, she'd probably have not made it. 
So they had to give her this emergency surgery. And she had to stay for one night. And they did two different surgeries, some sort of, and then they pumped her, filled her, filled her bladder with water to get it all out and stuff. It was all kinds of stuff. That cost 60,000 crowns, which is $6,000, roughly. But because I had insurance, I only had to pay $1,500. And then the insurance paid 4500 So I had to pay 25% of it. Um, so, like... Yeah, no, insurance is very important. If you're gonna have a if you're gonna have a dog, you they deserve to get treatment and that's gonna cost you. So get get pet insurance. It will save your their life and yours. <laughs> so with that said, hello. How's everyone doing? I um, didn't have time to eat, so I'm just having a bowl of cereal before we get into things. I'm sorry, I know some people hate watching streamers eat, but I literally didn't have time. <laughs> the guy in chat saying that... What did you say? <laughs> he thinks I'm live talking to Twitch chat. They ignore us on YouTube even though we pay them more, lol. What the hell are you on about, man? Everybody on Twitch pays me a shitload. You, your 99% of you guys are just paying me through ads. Now that doesn't matter, I'm live on YouTube. But what is this weird mentality that you have where you think that YouTube's above it all? However, perfect fucking timing. Joey Mace, $50, man. Thank you. The whole, you said for Luna's hospital bills. The whole vet story was fake. Yeah, I'm just trying to bait donations. <laughs> hey, thank you, man. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate that. YouTube is us paying you. The ad is us paying you. Dan, you, I don't know what you're doing here, man. Stop it. <laughs> Enough of this weird... I don't know what you're doing. Never, never connect yourself this much with a corporation. YouTube doesn't care about you. <laughs> don't be afraid of going over to Twitch. You may, you seem to have this weird mentality where you're like, yeah, w w us on YouTube. I fucking knew it. 200 milligrams is not take your dog to vet worthy. Yes, it is. What are you talking about? 200 milligram of chocolate is a lot of chocolate for a dog to have. Mmm. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have fun today. A hundred dollars, gentlemen's club for the dogs. Celebrate the first super chat from gentlemen's club. All right, YouTube. <laughs> Gentlemen's Club, I see this is your first super chat. The website wants me to celebrate with you. Cheers, man. Huge donos. Thank you, guys. You mean 200 gram, right? Oh, yeah, I meant 200 gram. 200 milligram is not a lot of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He said milligram, to be fair. I meant gram. <laughs> yeah, no, it was like 250. So uh, about a quarter of a kilo. Um, thank you, guys. Huge thank you, Joey and uh, Gentleman's Club. No, it's been a really stressful day, actually. I'm trying to come back down now so we could have some fun and play uh, Dead Space. So it's very nice of you. Thank you. All the memberships as well. Your hair looks cute today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Eden. Mmm. 
How excited are you? You know. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I, um, I'm a big Dead Space fan. I played the, the original Dead Space just, what, three years ago? Uh, what should be like five years ago? It wasn't too long ago. Gaming General! Love watching your vids, been a fan since 2010. Here, take my money. Oh my god, dude. That's a long time. Thank you. Feel like I should have a hat. Thank you. Huge donations coming in. And memberships. Hobo has been a member since tw for 27 months. There's a um, Parkov video you can watch if you're a member. <clears throat> It'll probably go up on Sunday, but you can watch it right now if, um, if there are any members watching. <clears throat> Quandale Dingle with the one. <laughs> Love the name. Quandale Dingle. Thanks for the one quid. Love you. How's your aquarium today? It's good. Yeah. I'm having a bit of a hair algae problem at the moment, but other than that, I'm, I'm doing fine. The shrimp keep having babies, which is a really good sign. It means they're happy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe I played Dead Space 2 first, four years ago. When did I play Dead Space 1? Two years ago? Oh, was I living here when I played Dead Space 1? Wasn't that long ago then. How's your stomach feeling? Absolutely poo. Yeah, I've got a really, really bad stomach. I don't know what's going on with me. I haven't it for four days. I don't see a replay of Dead Space 1 just 11 years ago. No, no, no. I played it a, a couple years ago, Hobo. Ah, did I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I never replayed Dead Space 1. Maybe I only played... Yeah, I only played Dead Space 2. I never... <laughs> I never played through the whole Dead Space 1. I've never played this game. <laughs> I thought I did. Oh no. Oh, well that's even better. I played like three hours of this, maybe two hours of this, uh, like 11 years ago when it first came out. Um, when it first came out, I did, I did like this one old video of me playing this. I played like an hour and a half and then I freaked out too much and stopped playing. So I've never played Dead Space 1. Oh, how exciting. Now I'm way more exciting. Excited. Yeah, I mean, I don't have it on Steam. Well, I have it. No, I've played it. You fucking... I have played it. <laughs> I have played it. Look. Here it is. What are you talking about? Dead Space 1. Last played February 2018. 13 hours. <laughs> Did I never... Maybe I never put it up on more Tio. I saw a Tio Tuesday on it. Yeah, all right. I played it five years ago. Okay, I have played this game. And then a few years ago I played, and then, um, a, oh no, it's been two years ago I played through Dead Space 2. Yeah. Okay. Chat on your screen is Twitch chat. Oh, really? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Say bye, Twitch. Wah, ah, 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 ah. Oh. Why is it so small? Okay. 
Why are we purple? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me, man. Hope you and the doggos recover soon. Thank you, Wiener Dingus. <laughs> I love the internet. Um. No, you schmuck. Okay. Ah. Okay. We'll be starting in a few minutes here. Ah. About to be a dad, so I'm in a good mood. Cheers for the great times and memories I've had watching your videos. What a cutie! Is there no music? Did I pause it? Huh. Thank you. Gentlemen's Club. Wait, it's the same guy. This guy donates. He's donated $150. Save some for the baby, man. <laughs> hey, congratulations, though. That's very cute. Right, I just got to tweet that I'm live, and then let's get the game launched. I haven't actually... Usually I test the game before I go live, but because of my delay today, I haven't actually launched it. I'm hoping it's all right. All the reviews, I think, are from console. Has anyone heard anything about this game's playability? It'll be fine. Playability is playable? Okay, good. I mean, that's all I need to hear. Alright, it's installing shit. Synchronizing Steam Cloud. Xbox Game Bar? Ew. Building shaders. All right, we're doing that classic Call of Duty thing. Here's my hard-earned Canadian money. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just a reminder, if you haven't donated in the next, I think the timer, it's three minutes left. Uh, after that, you'll get kicked out. Any donation. <laughs> <laughs> Dystopian future. No, just kidding. Don't do it. <laughs> User agreement. Signed in as Tio. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, the chat froze. All right. Oh whoa! Oh, it's, it can't keep up. Content warning: Dead Space contains graphic violence, including explicit to pick up. Oh, okay. Did I right, launch the right one? <laughs> I, I play the old one. God, I've started getting uh, nose hairs. It tickles me. I keep being afraid that I've got snot, but it's just like little tiny nose hairs. Howdy everyone! <coughs> Howdy everyone! I'm live over on YouTube this time around. We're playing the new Dead Space remake. Come get cozy in chat, get a blanket, a cup of tea or hot chocolate, and get scared with me. Oh, I thought I sold that well. <clears throat> that was my Instagram. I played this for about two hours, it's ten- Oh no, it's full screen! Oh god! This for about two hours, it's terrifying. Thank you, Schnoz Goblin. I'm looking forward to it. Besanka with a five. Today I'm starting my maternity leave at nearly 38 weeks pregnant. Tio, I expect gold content for the next nine months. Oh, you got it. I'll, I'll try my hardest. Select difficulty. Wait, are we just hopping in? Isaac takes much more damage. Enemies take much less damage. 
impossible. A special, ch a special challenge mode. Completing it will earn a unique suit and weapon. This mode has the same damage settings as hard. Oh, but auto saves are disabled. Oh. Only one save slot is available in one life. Dying prompts a full restart or continuing on hard. Okay, now I'm, I'm... Oh, come on. I I mean, I may as well do it. And then when I die, switch to hard. <laughs> what if what if I'm insane? What if, Imagine. There's a tiny chance that I managed to do this all the way through without dying. I may as well, I'd be so pissed off if I did that one life on hard. So I may as well start it on impossible for that little chance that I make it. Try not to get kicked out of here. JK, much love for the laughs too. Thank you, thank you guys. Appreciate it, even for the joke, I, I appreciate it guys. There's a tiny, tiny chance Let's do it. I'll just switch it to hard if I die. I'm not gonna restart. This is an extremely difficult mode aimed at elite Dead Space veterans. While playing in this mode, you will have one life and one save slot. If you lower the difficulty, you will not be able to go back to impossible mode during this playthrough. Completing the game in impossible mode will earn unique rewards. Do you wish to continue? Yeah, I do. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're playing it on impossible mode. Worst case, we'll switch it to hard if I die. <laughs> Select difficulty. Show content warning. Uh, no. No, we don't want to get spoiled. Why does that? <laughs> they've done a good job at making the menu feel... Like the old game. It feels very OG, this menu. Uh, what do I want to do? Display and graphics. You? No motion blur. No film grain. Ah. Oh, it did not like going in low. Oh my god. Okay. We'll do auto. Actually, let's customize this. We don't want depth. Oh, we have to have it on? Well, then we'll have it on. Which one is ambient occlusion again? Is that like reflections? Like inner shadows? Oh, okay. Okay. I think we're good. More settings? Well, how do I play the... I will oh, continue here. Oh, we just start? Is there no menu? <laughs> I don't like it when games do that. Am I the only one who gets anxiety when games just start? When you start... Like, I, I, I need to have a menu. I can't just have a game... Just begin. How's that? Are we good? Yeah, it seems a little fuzzy for me as well. Oh. What? Pause menu? How's the brightness? <clears throat> How's the brightness? Do not want DLSS? I don't know how the game runs. I actually have a 4090 now. <laughs> I just got a new PC. So... Surely we don't need this. Oh. Wait. Anti- Oh no, we just want TAA, yeah?
I think it's me. Okay, it just starts. Oh, oh I, I'm not in the mood yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, I don't feel I like I'm in... I wish I could talk to someone. Yeah. It's all... falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Mm. Strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. Hey, we're talking! Still got that thing on repeat. It's a little quiet. Um, big change from this game compared with this game compared to the is it my headset that's quiet, maybe? This game compared to the OG game is that Isaac talks. In the OG games, he didn't start talking until the uh, Dead Space 2. But in this one, he talks today. Which I think is fair. Maybe it wasn't too quiet. You guys let me know. Yes, you really miss her. And he also has a this face. Is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only fit calls. It's rough. Wait, is this the first we've seen of Isaac's face? Thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hammond reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daniels. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now, where is she? Oh, this game runs on Frostbite. There. Cool. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see your running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting out for us. Just be careful on the approach. Looks a little generic. Not taking any chances with the CEC's bright and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance. Is the actor's USG actual face? Oh. Come in, Ishimura. I mean, he looks. Looks good. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is a USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications blackout on one of these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. What the hell is that? Uh, sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe is the game quiet? Broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take... Really? It's maxed out. Uh, What kind of tricks can I do here? Volume mixer. <laughs> I could turn me down. Let me turn me down. All right, there you go. Yes, sir. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Let's go. Let me know if I'm too quiet now. Can you hear me when it's loud, you know? Yeah. I'm good. I'll live. Johnston. All right. It's my ankle. It's broken. John Shit. Stun. But better than a broken neck. Or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. Thank you. Oh, he looks the same. He looks good. What's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. 
Better add it to your it looks like an HD version of Jack, the OG one. What's our damage? Happened. Helicopter down. We lost a port booster. We got a fire in one of the stabilizers and singularity core is a mess. Oh, not the singularity core. Not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kellyan. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Hey. Ah, oh, nice. You arrivals. No, I was saying his name because I think Johnston's kind of a weird name. Crap, we came down hard. Not a great start of what we're So what do we think about how it looks so far? What is the difficulty? It's uh <laughs> impossible. <laughs> if I survive without dying, I get a cool suit. But if I die, I yeah, I have to switch to hard or restart. We'll switch to hard if so. You know what's a good sign with these kind of games? Where you think, if you haven't played it in 10 years, you go, huh, this looks like how I remember it. That's a good sign. Framey? <clears throat> Isaac, come sink your rig. Welcome, Isaac. Shouldn't be framing. USG Ishimura. Rig synced. Collect Kinesis and Stasis modules from Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. Location? Error. Employee not found. I can't read security. Same for the Chief Engineer. What is wrong with their comms? Hmm. Yeah. I hope it's not. I think you're streaming at 30 FPS. Am I? No, I shouldn't be. No, it says 60. I mean, I'm getting like, I'm at 140 here, so it's something on no BS end if so. Let me have a look before we keep going. It should, I mean, it should feel flowy. I could uh, try doing V-Sync. Sometimes it's a little weird with uh, things like that in OBS. See if that feels better for you. That's the same, no? <laughs> ah, it should be fun. Seems like most of you guys think it's fun. Better? Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel or metals and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources so of the Earth and the dwindling supplies of the colonies. Older seeders don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it less than a century ago. Look where at the sea, the star. Enter the Ishimura. There's nothing logged. No duty roster. No power to the elevator. For God's sake. Oh my God! No, we're not reading. That security this. console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. Go full screen. There's no reason for me to tap out. Does anyone 
Now listen, you know, in recent years, I have gotten more into reading lore and stuff in games. Something on the floor here. But not if it's like three pages every time. Check in damage report. What have you got, Ivan? Isn't this where they get Shit. fucked? It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. You could do that kind of damage to a planet crack. Okay, I got us some power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be. Positive anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Oh, wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, man. Don't get easy. Daniels, get those elevators running. There's something in here with us. Up there! Johnston! <laughs> Is that that Johnston? Ooh, they look good. Coming! Oh, I forget that. Okay, we just start. Yeah. Oh, it looks good though. What kind of work hazard elevator is this? <laughs> Who the hell sets it with that kind of power when it doesn't work? Can I stomp yet? No? How was it I... No, oh, no. How was it I checked the... Uh, X? X. Locked. Here we go. What does that say? Cut off their limbs. Mm, that's a nice touch. Now, we're not gonna die. I'm coming. Oh, okay. Oh. Squeezy. <laughs> easy squeezy. There we go. Lemon easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> That's the same. Alright, no, we're fine. Sorry. Well, what did I pick up? Was it ammo? What did I pick up? Um. Ah, 
activate? Security request retrieved. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! Wait, uh... What, um... So I'm playing on impossible. And you don't get auto saves. You get like one save slot. And if you die, you have to restart or continue on hard mode. Where will I start if I die? Fuck. Oh, am I moving the body around? Oh, I see. You made it! Oh my god, Isaac. You made it. Just yeah, I mean, I'm right here. They're everywhere. Shen, is he, uh... He's gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw? Some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both Let me handle it. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? Yeah. She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Alright, we made it to a save station. Stand by. No! I clicked F! Ooh, I need to switch that right now. Uh, we're gonna move it to G. Controls. Keyboard and mouse layout. Mm. Use med pack. Customize. G. Let's move it over one. Okay. Yes. Mm hmm. Wait, it's already saved? Six minutes ago. We'll save again. Oh, you only get one save slot. I see. Yeah, so if I die, I, I just continue it on uh, hard mode. Yeah. No auto save, and, and so it's just manual saves and one save slot. Why are you ha ha haing? No, but it's still one life. If I die, impossible mode challenge is over. Dude, the lighting looks good. Look at this. Oh, of course, yeah. Of course you should be able to save. You don't want to sit here for 10 hours playing on impossible. Yeah, so you could, yeah. Yeah, makes complete sense. That's good, yeah, because I was hoping to maybe complete it over the weekend, so... Uh, it's nice I can save an impossible mode. <laughs> God, I knew he was about to do it because I shot him. And I still flinch. I'm not dying. <laughs> I'm telling you. Enter key? What is that? what are these settings? Navigate. Oh, okay. Now let's check out the maintenance bay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can't co-op in this game, right? No, correct. Only in RE5. What? <laughs> Only in Dead Space 3. <laughs> My head went one ahead. I was gonna start talking about how the Dead Space 3 co-op was actually quite fun. And then in my head I started thinking about another fun co-op game, and I was like, oh, well, Resident Evil 5 is fun. <laughs> and then I forgot I hadn't actually- I hadn't said any of this out loud. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, the legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? Oh, baby, I'm scared. Oh, oh, baby! Oh, baby! Run! Nice try! Come on! Come on! Okay. What's this? Can I stasis? No. God damn- Oh my god, it just looks- So it, um, so good, right? The lighting. First rule of dead space, check your back. Check all angles, then we fight. Why is there some music playing? Yeah, it'd be fun to compare some shots. No power. Hey, buddy. Here's something. Ah, uh, here we go. Or no, I was here. Oh, here we go. Come on. What is it? Yeah, the game looks great. Come on, they come with Dead Space multiplayer. <laughs> I am surprised. Uh, when did this come out? 2008? You had Gears of War 1, Lost Planet, The Last of Us, Dead Space. All these story games that came out that had multiplayer, but like the game was mainly a campaign game and they just threw in a multiplayer mode. And honestly, they all slapped. All the multiplayers in those games were fun. And so I'm surprised, what I'm saying is I'm surprised Dead Space didn't do it as well. Like Gears of War 1, was The Last of Us? Did The Last of Us not, was that The Last of Us 2? Maybe. I thought The Last of Us 1 had a multiplayer. 
Last of Us is from 2013, I think. Yeah, I just mean that time, you know? There was a time period where all these single-player games were coming out and they would force a multiplayer on it that ended up being a lot of fun. Like, I loved the hell out of Gears of War multiplayer. I thought it was so much fun. Um, and Lost Planet, for example. I had a lot of fun playing Lost Planet multiplayer. So I'm surprised they didn't have it for, uh, for this. Oh, did Dead Space 2 have multiplayer? Really? How was that? I don't imagine it was good. I'm not saying that they could have made it work. I'm just surprised that they didn't try. Dude, with Capcom remastering all of these Resident Evils, <laughs> um, I'm surprised that they haven't said anything about remastering or bringing back Lost Planet. There's dozens of us, Capcom. Dozens. You have to cut their limbs off. Uh, it's uh, like a lore thing. Isaac's uh, got a bit of a gore fetish. <laughs> we'll turn off the elevator. Wait, what did we turn on? The circuit breaker. Wait, no, don't turn off the elevator. I'm going to need that. Ah, shit. I thought I was going in here on the left. Okay. Okay, bye-bye lights. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Holy shit, it's so dark. If you want some uh, lore about me right now, I um, have had severe diarrhea the last few days, and it, today included. So, um, this is a bit of a risk for me, playing this game today. I, uh, I don't know what's going on with me, but I've got a really- I'm not doing great. So I, I tweeted yesterday to prepare everyone that I may actually ship myself today. Um, just putting it out there. <laughs> I thought you needed the backstory, you know. Yeah, I'm, I listen, I'm, I, I, oh god, I'm like, I, I've been surrounded by like 15 piles of dog puke today, and like, meanwhile I keep going to the, I'm just, I feel very gross. My life has been very gross the last 24 hours. <laughs> it's, uh, You know what I've noticed? Wait, why are we going up? Oh no, we're going down. You know what I've noticed? Dr. Disrespect. He- Dr. Disrespect talks about diarrhea really often. <laughs> like, oddly often. Has anyone else- has anyone else watched him and noticed this? What's that about? 
Why has he made that a thing? Is that behind me? Oh my god, I don't know where that is. I think... Okay. Okay! Okay! okay. Yeah, that's great. I'm a pro. And you talk about dick all the time. What? <laughs> That's news to me. There we go. I feel like there's another one somewhere. Three, two, one. No? Okay. Great weapons. Beatable. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tramp. Okay, Daniel, watch that door. <laughs> Talk about dick an awful lot for a straight guy? Why, man? I've got a dick. This is off rig link in case Benson's listening in. You in for poker tonight or are you gonna let Caitlin keep walking around with your credits? RE poker night. I'm in. But can you not might pay me this time? I know he's still banging himself for Sarasi's accident and everything, and no one wants to hear about anyone's fucking nightmares. Especially that one where he saw Sarasi up and walking around with half his head missing. Don't give me shit about it, I'm serious, it's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams you wake up, you know? But my dad was sitting next to my bed talking to me. It felt so real I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day. Trust me, that's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. Oof. Are people like... <laughs> someone said someone said all the dock worshippers are mad <laughs> I love the idea of people being offended that I mentioned that Dr. Disrespect talks about diarrhea a lot <laughs> and then they're like what it's no, no, no different from you talking about dick like <laughs> but I don't think that's it I don't think anyone's defending doc by calling out my dick mentions <laughs> <laughs> You really read it really aggressively. But I think you're on about maybe TO two years ago. I don't really talk about dick that much these days. Unlock new upgrades. To gain access to unique upgrades and expand the weapons upgrade craft. Bring upgrade parts to the bench. Yeah, I cut to a quick compilation of the last 30 days. <laughs> yeah, let's get some, uh, let's get some HP going. Thank you. I couldn't even plasma cutter. Damage, yeah. But I need more nodes. I wonder if they've changed the balance of the weapons, or if the plasma cut and cutter is still uh, king. Dude, this game is so dark without lights. I actually love it.
Yeah. Give me the lore behind the explosive barrels. <laughs> the developer everyone hates. He's like, mm, I don't think this makes much sense. Shut up, let's just do it. It's fun gameplay. <clears throat> FPS is so good now. Oh good, yeah. I made it full screen. That should have made it a little better. I don't I don't know why the OBS is giving you guys is giving you a bit of a weird thing. Uh right, yeah. So then was this a thing in the first one? I feel like this is new. Hey buddy. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Easy. Large med pack. Wait, will it use that? If I click G, will it will it automatically use the one I need? Hi, Sabi. <clears throat> Hi, Sammy. How are you? Ooh, we got a note. What happened outside that door? Difficulty is this? Impossible. Yeah, I know. I know you're impressed. Data board reinstalled. Error. Damage tram on track. Contact maintenance immediately. the damage tram. Oh, is this when it teaches me uh, tele... <laughs> Telekinesis? is why didn't I already have this? From alternate timeline later today, if you said you had zero chance at the hardest difficulty, you would have gone beast mode and not got jinxed. If I said I had zero chance at the hardest difficulty, what did I say? I said there's a chance, didn't I? There is a chance. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
are you lying? What's happening right now? Okay. What the fuck is happening right now? Okay. game looks even more immersive. It's even more immersive than the first one. The first one playing it today, like you get a little. Eh. I mean, I mean, it's it's grown well. No, that's not to say it's aged well. But you know, the graphics are a little. The auto loader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the auto loader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. You know? I know. I know. <laughs> Is it a one to one remake so far? I've not watched any of the others. Um, no, I think that little bit where I kept diverting power, I don't think that was in the first one. They've done, so far I'm noticing a few things here and there like that, where they have made the gameplay a little bit. Loading system reinitialized. Autoloader malfunction. Please contact a repair technician. Error. Oh my god, I thought that was a sound effect of the... Of the... I thought that was the claw. <laughs> I... Huh, what are we doing? Do you need stasis? Are you too harsh? Oh, it's too rough with her. Okay, wait. The auto loader's busted. But stasis should do the trick. Huh. Just gotta time it. Great. But hurry. Okay? Sound carry down here. Why was it so close? I knew it was coming as well. That's why I turned around. You fucking asshole, game. Oh, it worked. Tram engaged. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay. Well done. You got it. The tram was jamming the whole system. I'm heading back to tram control. Should be able to call you a ride to the bridge. Good. Just hurry. I keep hearing noises. Daniels, <laughs> grow up. I've killed like 18 of these already. I'm the engineer. Oh, 
Oh god. The fuck are these sound effects? voice acting for the aliens slash monsters would be fun. Yeah, man. How could you say it wouldn't be fun? Is there anyone in chat who would say no to that? If a company came to you and said, hey, we need monster voices and you get to just at the mic, like that sounds awesome. Who wouldn't say yes to that? I'm a very outspoken person about wanting to do monster voices in a video game. I am still looking for my first opportunity. He told me to bring the others. Throw them and go. Probably have to repeat it 3,000 times to get the correct player. Yeah, still fun, man. I'm down. Think about the Rick and uh, Morty news, huh? Pretty insane. I kind of like how <clears throat> the whole Rick and Morty community, um, other than Elon Musk, have just collectively just gone, yeah, makes sense. Get him out of here. We'll find some other voice actors. <laughs> like, if you look at the Rick and Morty subreddit, like, the vibe is just completely like, yeah, get him out. It'll be fine. It's, he's replaceable. <laughs> Yeah, it's refreshing. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Welcome. I keep thinking someone. <laughs> I think someone's behind me. Yeah. DMing minors and beating your wife is a quick way to turn a fan base against you? Yeah, you say that, but... <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't put it past certain fan bases to just fully be like... He made his mistake! But we can't do this without him. I mean, look at Chris Brown. <laughs> the amount of fucking <clears throat> roller coasters people will go on just trying to backtrack and say that he's fine and that they'll live with it. And it's like, but he's got a beautiful voice, though, you know? Like, and <clears throat> I think it's been oddly refreshing seeing the Rick and Morty community just be like, yeah, fuck him. We'll move on without him. <laughs> it's, it's nice. I'm back! Oh, where'd they go? Call tram. Maintenance complete. Calling tram. It's clear! Now arriving at flight deck tram control. Uh, yeah, purpley. We'll talk about Justin Warren. We're on board. 
Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown was lifted. You seem oddly chill about something hitting the roof. So be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnston fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Oh, Johnston's the guy we left behind. Oh, I thought Johnston was the guy who died. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. We'll see. What about Rick and Morty? Yes, I'm living under a rock. Oh, just look up, uh, Justin Roiland. Cancelled. <laughs> well, maybe not that. You'll get some weird articles. Just look up Justin Roiland. You'll get it all. Chen, yeah, Chen's dead. Yeah, look up Justin Royden charged. That's better. Oh. All right, two minute break. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. oh, that's good water. Innocent till proven guilty, lads. Remember what happened to Johnny Depp? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Just look up um, look up the DMs between Justin Roiland and um, and Miners. <clears throat> Which do you prefer, Lost Planet 1 or 2? You know, I don't think I ever finished Lost Planet 2. Lost Planet 1, I've played through, but I don't think I fully read through Lost, finished Lost Planet 2. You gotta finish Lost Planet 2 now you said that. Didn't it get kind of... Ah, uh, maybe not. Or maybe it got kind of bad... reviews. I don't really remember the story of Lost Planet. What was it? It was like, um... Was it Earth being frozen or something? Or was it another planet? Maybe it was like an alien planet? We already gone over why you're on YouTube? No, I'm uh, I'm allowed to be on YouTube now. It's uh, Twitch uh, opened up their contracts last summer, and then shortly thereafter changed their sub split, which made it kind of obvious why they uh, did that. <clears throat> so I'm allowed to stream on YouTube now. But it, uh, it has to be, I can't stream on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. <clears throat> no, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm just taking a two minute break and then we're gonna hop back in. The game, I mean, it's quite intense, so <laughs> it's nice. No, I don't find horrors that tiring to play. How many? What's this donation? Oh god, I tabbed out. Oh no. 400 something. Love your content, man. I was waiting for Twitch notifications. Got her from Instagram stories. Thank you, Saidanesh. I don't know what this is. It's 400 something. But I, I appreciate it, man. <clears throat> Thank you. Is it rupees? Who said yen? <laughs> Did I say yen?
About five euro. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Thank you, man. I said yen. Oh, okay. Do you have any plans for The Walking Fred Season 3? Um, no, not at the moment. Listen, I love doing The Walking Fred. That was um, my passion project. I mean, Sunset was pretty much just editing that series for like four months. It was, it was a lot. But... Um, So, so to do, I mean, to do it again, it's just, it's a big thing. Some of those videos were like 50 minutes long. It's, it's a big project for him, and I like him doing other videos as well. 50,000 IDR. <laughs> what is... Indonesian rupees, come on. What's, um, what, what is it? I'm just guessing here. Oh, it is Indonesian. Indonesian rupiah? What is going on with your currency? <laughs> Holy inflation. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's... I... I'm at, how, how much is 50,000 Indonesian rupiah? <clears throat> Three dollars. Thank you very much, man. I can't imagine, um... Okay, so at that point, do you not just divide your currency? <laughs> Listen, if your currency is inflated to that point, do you not at some point as a government say, okay, let's... Just reset it, divide it by, like, let's just take away a few zeros, move the point along. Because nothing, nothing costs 18 Indian rupiah at that point, right? Like, everything is in the thousands. So just remove a few zeros. Not how economics works. No, I know. That, uh, that's why I smiled when I said it. What currency is this now? Uh, Indonesian. I'm getting all kinds of, I got 500... Thousand, five hundred thousand D's. I don't know what that is. What is that, Nutty? Can't you just print more money? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that if everything is in the thousands, ugh, keep it at that. If something costs fifty thousand, then have it cost fifty thousand. But from now on. It costs 50. Just divide everything by a thousand. Have the exact same, just, <clears throat> just to make it easier. Just remove, they're actually, they actually do that. It's called re-denomination. Oh, cool. All right, I'm up there with the legends, the absolute economical geniuses. <clears throat> D is Vietnamese dong. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Nutty, for the 500,000 Vietnamese dong. I don't know how much that is. Can someone look that up? Try 50. 50 tries. Thank you. Turkey did that like 20 years ago or something. Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough. Cool. They would need to take the money from everyone, though? Yeah, I mean, people do that all the time. Different, uh... Notes and old coins and stuff become old, and you have to go to the bank and switch it. All right, here we go. Let's play. Where am I going this way? What are we doing? Try 
return to the Kellyan. Right, so we're still playing on impossible mode. I haven't died. Okay, what are these donations? 15 mir? Thank you for the 15 mir. Meyer? This is how you know someone's a, an FPS gamer. They'll like hold angles. Where the fuck is that? Getting married this year, please give me one tip when you are most unstable this session. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> you want me mid... mid panic to give you a tip? YouTube stream and not Twitch today. Uh, Twitch chat made me mad. I thought I'd come over here. Twitch and I are on a break. It made me mad. Get an argument. So I'm here experimenting with YouTube for a while. Before I inevitably run back into Twitch's arms. Who's this? Who's this guy? He's baiting me. He's totally baiting me. I don't like this music. I'm going in there. Well, oh, stop this music. Okay. the timer right. I just looked the wrong direction. I thought he was gonna come through here. Oh. What? Dude, they've made it way more immersive with the with the dark. <clears throat> with the with the lighting. Thank you, Sky. Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's there's no survivors. You missed Davis a note. Tried to get <gasps> the computer. Hold on, I missed a node. No. Where? a node I'd be over here. In the storage? What? Really? Oh, right back here? This 
me or does Tia's movement seem very erratic? Uh, yeah, man, I'm scared. You mean these little wiggles? Nice pink hair, Jamie McLelland. Was that like a punk, uh... Vertical hair? <laughs> What's it called? It's called when it's like... <laughs> What's that called? Help me. Mohawk. Mohawk, yeah. That's the one. Johnston! Are you okay? She's just fine? I need you to listen. The Ishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac. We need the Killian fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. Let's do this. I'm Isaac Clark. I mean, these guys are just coming at me one and one by one. Two good people for nothing. Well, you already did. Oh, yeah, okay, it's I guess for nothing. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased. He is a captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. God, this With game looks codes, good. We... What was that? Chen? Oh, God. It. Run! oh shit. Oh, Chen already transformed. Exact same as OG for me. Well, Mari.
You wanna you wanna say that again? <laughs> Did I save? I think so. <laughs> Looks the exact same. Are we ready on the trigger with that? Because I will not have this. Ooh, bathroom. These guys have, like, rebuilt the game. <laughs> Only for some guy to be like, it looks the same. <laughs> I can't die here. Not yet. Eat me. They ate my boy. Shit. Gah can cook. Isn't this a reference to some YouTuber or something? I swear I saw something like that pop up somewhere on Twitter or something. Tio say at the beginning, you know they've done a good job when you look at it and think that it looks the same as you remember. Yeah, but it's one thing to- Oh, they're coming in! To think that and know that it's not true. It's another to be like, It's the same! Does his stomach get more and more? Oh! Oh, yeah. I should save my ammo. Maybe we'll get a positive, uh, what's his name? Kobe Cat video. Kobe Cat? Am I remembering his name right? No, he always does these videos and he looks at how shitty of a remaster it is and stuff. Maybe we'll get one here where he compares and shows how much better it is. Ooh, yeah, nice. Guys, I got uh, Deluxe Edition. I got some cool suits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go shopping. Did you not get a, give me a preview of some sort? If he can't whine, he doesn't make the video. Wait, are there Kobe Cat haters? I always like this channel. Ooh, hoo -hoo. what the fuck? Why, why is Isaac Clark like a psychopath? Why did he <laughs> take the time to add hands to hand antlers to his helmet? Okay, it's a zombie skin. Yeah, I don't mind them doing that. I don't like it. Oh, there's eyes on his back. Ooh. And that was Lone Survivor, Infested Suit, Adventure. Hey Luke, Olin, make us whole, Tio. Make us whole. Thanks for the 
Ten dollars? What currency is that? Dude, this one's sexy. I love the blue. That one's really sexy. Uh, which one haven't I done? Bloody suit. Have you remembered whose blood it is yet? Would you say the Adam Sandler edition is a positive or negative? What did that say? Adam Sandler? Ooh. Ooh, I like this. This one's nice. Alright, chat, do we do this one or the antlers? For now. I can change later. Let's have a look at this one while you guys vote. You think he looks like Adam Sandler? Eh, kind of boring. Not actually, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it grew on me. It grew on me. I'm gonna do... You know what? I'm gonna do neither of what I got you guys to vote on. I'm gonna start with... Venture. I'll do blood later. Maybe some others. Hey Jonah, thanks for the 1,000... Isk. I don't know what that is. But I thank you. Oh yeah, no, this one's good. Oh, I really like this one. There's a little, there's something a little bit um, Iron Man-y about it. You know what I mean? Doesn't he have a suit at some point in like Iron Man 3 that comes out that's like whitish? What's this, a store? Oh yeah. How many... Medium one. Wait, do I not have any small? Oh, no, I don't. Own zero. Hold on. What is this? Increases your inventory capacity to 80. Now let's do this first. Then, oh, I'm a genius. I'm gonna sell my stasis packs. As I don't need them right now. I'm not using it that much. And then I buy the suit as well. Ooh. Icelandic Krumur, ah, thank you. How much is a thousand Icelandic Krumur? Five dollars? Oh, am I not a genius? Was there a circuit board? Did my suit just change? I don't remember it looking like this. Why is it brown? Does it change look when you up- Do all the skins have different looks as you upgrade? Oh, I could've just sold this. Aye, aye, aye. But I don't like the new one. <laughs> Did it switch? Oh, it switches skin when you... When you upgrade. Interesting, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. No, there's an Iron Man feel about it. I'll stand by my point.
bitch. Tac tac. Uh, how many nodes? Three. We'll do damage. Capacity. Air? I don't think we're going outside anytime soon. Let's do uh, another capacity. It's the sounds in this game. The sounds are just... The sounds are just so... Uh, they're done so well. They're very scary the way you hear them crawling in the vents and stuff. Fly, making the virtual real. Ooh. Telekinesis, telekinesis, <laughs> telekinesis, Kines kinesis. Telekinesis? <laughs> Telekinetic. Telekinesis. Tele... Telekinetic energy. So, telekinesis. Kinesis. Why does that sound so bad? Scam to unlock. Telekinesis. 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 Telekinesis! Thank you. You see, I was saying C's. Or to use it added to the weapon wheel. Fucking pulse rifle. <laughs> I'll stick to the... I think I'll focus with on the um, plasma cutter for now. Is this 
this a thing in the OG game going here? Oh shit. Evacuate this area. Ah! Isaac, have you oh. heard from Daniels? We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. The medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. Nicole could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. You know... In these situations, I try to imagine myself going out to a, a space station and finding out there are monsters and being... And so I'm shocked at that. I'm like, what the hell are these freaks? And everybody's dead, and I know that they've been just really aggressive, obviously. And I always, when I'm playing the game or watching the movie... I always find it weird, my instinctive reaction, because I'm used to these kind of things, that someone has turned into the monster, is like, yeah, of course. So I always get a little surprised when the captain or whatever is like, okay, you know the monsters we're seeing? I swear to you, I think they're people. I, I watched Chen die. But I swear to you, the monster... I think it's Chen. I don't know how this could be. I watched them die. You know, and they make a whole thing about finding out that it's people. But I always find that part, that part brings me out of it a little. Because I feel like, to me, I don't know. Is it the fucked up part that there are monsters? I I, I feel like, if anything, what what's the most logical is that they are. It's some sort of infection and it is humans. I feel like that part wouldn't surprise me that much. You know, when they react like this and they're like, I watched Chen die. How is this possible? It's like, what, well, you've been seeing all these freaks run around. What did you think they are? Like, there's so many of them. Where do you think, what do you think, you think? It's either that or it's an alien race. And surely, of the two of them, do we not kind of like, we're out in the middle of space. Like, where do you think they came from? Clearly hasn't played enough video games. Yeah, I don't know. It always, to me, it always brings me out of it a little in video games and, games and, and movies. When, like, they've been killing all these things. And then they're like, oh my god, it's us. I agree, he wasn't as bothered when it was monsters until Chen turned. Yeah, unless I'm, I'm, unless I'm misremembering something. Maybe in this universe there are aliens. And this is the first time that monsters, that humans are turning into monsters. Like... But as far as I remember it, this is like a first, you know? And so, I don't know, I find it weird that that's the part that they're shocked at. They're like, but Chen died! I swear to God I saw him die! It's like, you're already meeting these freaks with like... weird tentacle arms and like, I don't know, it's just... It's an odd one for me to... that they get hooked on that. But that's what like, throws them off. But maybe I'm meant to imagine this in a world where, like, zombie movies don't exist. Like, the the very idea of a person turning into th anything that isn't human, like, sh just doesn't exist. Maybe I'm meant to just pretend. I guess it's also, like, because it's someone he knows it hits him more? Yeah. It's just the way that he's, like... We've run out of body bags! We need more people here! Who's this for? <laughs> Who's this note for? I don't know if it's someone you knew who died is who turns. That'd be the real shocker. Yeah, but I wouldn't be that surprised if I'm going around killing these, like... 
Yeah, I don't know. I said my thoughts. Research wing. We're going there. I came from there. What's in the research wing? Uh, let's check that out on our way back. Maybe we have to go there eventually anyway. Game running on good FPS for you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm like maxed out on 144. I've got it limited. It doesn't go higher than that in, in, in video. But I mean, I I've got the 4090 now, so I would hope so. But yeah, no issues whatsoever, which is more than you can say for certain games that come out these days. Like even if you have a top rig, they'll have all kinds of weird uh, frame drops and stuff. But I think it's just important to know, because if you have a mid mid tier PC, you shouldn't look at my screen like it's running fine for him. <laughs> you know, maybe have a look at forums and stuff before you decide that it's all good to go. Minimals is a monster. Where do you go? Circuit breaker. Let's need to go up there. What's in here? Storage? <laughs> This guy left him alive as bait. Genius. Right, we'll have to come back in here when we get security clearance too. 30 bucks! Yo, I've been watching you since the early Rainbow Six Friday 13th days. Don't get to watch you live that much because of Australian time zones, but you deserve nothing but the best. Much love. Thank you, Alex M. I've lost my mouse. Oh yeah, there is no mouse in here. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, we have zero notes. I don't know I'm doing it. Australian dollars. Hey, it's okay to be fucked up. We can't do it anymore. We can't. Didn't anymore. Can't do it anymore. Maybe. This is a nice saying. It's okay to be fucked up. Well, actually, no. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. It's okay to be fucked. It's okay to be fucked up. <laughs> if you eventually get better, there needs to be a follow-up. I think. <laughs> Okay to be fucked up sometimes. I was thinking of it as like a what the fuck? Oh yeah, it's this guy. Give me your arm. Oh, 
infidels. Hello, buddy. I gave you a bridge. I think I'm running out of money. Oh, no, I meant ammo. I think I'm running out of ammo. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can follow them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying cause is showing up in environmental analysis, foodstuffs, foodstuffs, <laughs> radiation levels. I admit I'm at a loss. Treating the symptoms. Sheer number of patients per managing bothers me. Very well might happen if there's a serious power surge down there, but nothing else seems to help. Oh, no! If you're going to do a five minute pee break, don't want to miss anything. Uh, yes, real soon. Okay, go pee. Go pee. Maybe pin a message that you're playing on impossible levels so that everyone would know what a chad you are. Yeah, good idea. I'm playing on an impossible difficulty. Like a chad. Maybe you go poo? No, I'm good. I took some pills. <laughs> And now everyone knows. Yeah, anti-poo pills. <sighs> like a Chad. Oh, this game it's so immersive man no I still haven't died I'm not planning on dying maybe pin that you have diarrhea do we think that's needed <laughs> lore wise hey Peter thanks for giving me some entertainment while I exercise I'm from Minnesota in the US and we have a Swedish college here Gustavus Adolphus <laughs> No, stop. <laughs> You're... This can't be real. Hold on. <laughs> Gustavus Adolphus, Minnesota. We have to find out if this is real. Gustavus... 
Adolphus. College? What? St. Peter, Minnesota. Why is this Swedish? <laughs> This is a real old name, man, Gustavus. How old of a name is this? This must be hundreds of years. Gustavus gets its name from Gustavus Adolphus, the king of Sweden, from 1611 to 1632. Yeah, that's a hilarious name for a college. I can't believe that, man. Oh, I know my Gustav. Gustavus Adolphus is the funniest name I've ever heard. Hell yeah, man. Minnesota has a lot of Swedish immigrants. They named the NFL team the Vikings. Oh, cool. And watch this is the I push you down, Richard Monor, for two days. It's been a wild journey. Is there any old memory that you call from those days? Um, yeah, I really look. Weren't you going to pee? No, it was my viewers going to pee. I look back at th now those times were fun playing COD and stuff with the I push you down. But I look back at thank you, Zeretix. I look back at um, when I used to play all the horror games with Richard and um, our friend Max. <clears throat> He'd sit. He'd sit on a, what do they call like a barca lounger? You know, one of these like big chairs. I had one in my room that could like completely flip back. So you're like this, and like a lounge chair, a proper. And Max would always sit behind us, um, on a, ch a chair like that, eating um, Ben and Jerry's. And then Richard and I would be sat at the computer, sharing one chair, uh, playing like Amnesia. Um, Penumbra, and like these Half-Life, all those videos that I made back then, those horror uh, videos. Um, yeah, kind of like a lazy boy. That's a very nice uh, memory for me. Very nice memory. Uh, I've been looking back at that a lot uh, the last year. It's, um, I can very much memorize it, you know? I should stretch my legs, then we'll play again. Oh. He sat on his lap? No, we just shared one chair. We sat next to each other on one, one chair. What do we say to blood clots? Fuck off! Thoughts so far? Everyone seems to love it so far, which is a relief to hear. We look to be eating good this year for horror games. Love ya, man. Hey, Roska, thank you, man. Uh, yeah, it's good so far. I mean, I will say it's just... It's dead space. So far, there's nothing like... It doesn't feel like a new game, you know what I mean? It just feels like a, like if you're a Dead Space fan, then it's perfect. Or if you just never happened to play Dead Space. But as someone who played it four or five years ago, like I just feel like I'm playing <laughs> Dead Space with better graphics, but there's bits here and there where I'm like, ooh, this is new. I would say that like if you're someone who's played Dead Space 1 and you played it on Steam like four years ago or something, I don't know if it's worth the 60 bucks to just buy the revamped version, unless you're just a big fan of it. <sighs> With that said, it's really good. Flows well. Dead Space versus the Devil in Me? Definitely Dead Space. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna spend $40 on the Devil in Me, or whatever it costs, then pay $60 for, um, for Dead Space.
All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm excited about the boss fights. I always thought, I feel like they were quite lacking in the OG game. I'm hoping they've, uh... Oh, God, I've been talking a lot. Uh, revamp them. So with all this axis level two, I guess I'll get that on the way back. I'm sure I'll get it at the end of this. Caution, please read. Navigating a zero to be mine. I was doing a bit, you know, that like you're running low on air oxygen and you stand here and read. I didn't realize we were already back in. Only crew members wearing gravity boots should activate the gravity control panel and should use caution at all times. Patients should not enter unless accompanied by a CEC medical officer. The sounds in this game are so sudden, man. It scares the crap out of me. To Gustavus Adolfus with 69 try the man of the hour thank you oh what an honor let's get going baby this one's for you oh god no I need I just need to get across this makes me feel Can I save him? Uh. Oh no, I can't handle this. Oh, let's kick out. Oh, I hate this. Okay. How do I touch down? How, how do I? <laughs> Z to land, thank you. Gravity thrusts just make me think of you and Richard dying over and over in Dead Space 3. Yeah, dude, I... One of my favorite things in co-op games is segments where you both have to like get through it and live. I know Gears of War has a lot of them where it's like environmental, an environmental segment. Am I? Oh my God, yeah. I only knew because of these fucking advertisements. Um, there's a Gears of War 5 video coming. I played through Gears of War 5 with Richard uh, a few months ago. And it was kind of a low priority in terms of videos because the game's been out for ages. But Sunset's almost done with it now. Should be out in, should be done in a week. And it's a video of like the whole playthrough. So uh, we'll have a look. Maybe it'll be two parts or something. We'll see. But it's it's a lot. It's going to be a little bit of a different video, I think. It'll be fun. Perhaps a little more chill playthrough vibe with high, just highlights above. Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, there were some good, uh, good streams. The time. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. Is it okay if I type spoilers? No. Appreciate you asking. Uh, it makes sense that you'd ask, considering it's a remake. Okay, here we go. I think he's 
dead, right? You not drop anything? No? You guys think that they'll remaster Resident Evil 5 after Resident Evil 4? Or do you think they'll end it with Resident Evil 4? I'd love for them to do Resident Evil 5. Such a fun game. But I could see them just deciding not to, because maybe... Like, I don't know, it's a different vibe, Resident Evil 5. It's meant to be played co-op, you know, it's not... At all the same as the older ones. What the hell? It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. As long as you don't touch Resident Evil 6, that pile of shit cannot be saved. There's there's no improving Resident Evil 6. The game just is trash. Put it on arcade machines and forget about it. I don't get it. Oh, I'm meant to fly. Oh, I'm a little panicked. Alright, mods, ban anyone who's defending Resident Evil 6. Their opinion doesn't matter. They, uh, they reveal themselves. Level one required. What? Wasn't that two before? I don't even have one. Alright, I need to start like picking up spikes and shit. What am I doing with ammo? 21. Was 6 that bad? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll play it one day on stream with, uh, with Richard or something. Just to... Uh, really... Is it even on PC? Did they even bother? <laughs> Yeah, it's on Steam. Okay. God. Took one step out of the captain's nest and Chen, that thing, he almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Exiting zero gravity. You know what I really like about YouTube streaming? The fact that you can just like, ah, I can't end it late. <laughs> and just rewind to the beginning of the bottom. Chad, am I not shooting the limbs? I've had throughout the session people say that I need to shoot the limbs. I'm aiming for the limbs. Am I do I need to aim further out or something? What are you what are you on about? <laughs> Is 
have used a pulse rifle at all. No. Oh, we're back here. And now? Now I'm going in here. Nice. <sighs> mm, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Sorry, one sec. One sec. I like how this is here when you... Doop -a -doo. No, close. Thank you. If I could grab you. Thank you. I want it for stats. Uh, thank you for the bottom of my heart for all the moments of happiness you've given me. I've watched for 10 years. Big hug from Julia Poland. Ah, cute. Thank you. Thanks for the 25... Um, Poland. Don't you guys have kind of a funny name for your currency? We're going to Poland in a couple weeks for um, I am Katowice to watch... Uh, CSGO. ESL, the ESL tournament. Zloty! Yeah. Yeah, always a funny name. Yeah, going with, um... Paddy, Pata, Lucas, and Katie as well. So it's gonna be a similar vibe to uh, when we were in Copenhagen. The vlog we made of that. Staying one more day this time. I'm running the Friday for the quarterfinals. I'm staying until Monday. Probably soldiers with kinesis. Kin 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 kine kinesis. Kinesis. Throw sharper objects at people's impale. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be vlogging it. ESL are um, paying for our hotel rooms and tickets. I promised them a vlog. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hazardous anomaly detected. Let's do this. Why did I do that? I'm looking for sharp objects. Oh, I was, oh, I had a brain fart. I was trying to get his spike. Okay, we're good. Piece of cake. <laughs> Could I reuse these? Oh, I got something. Easy squeezy. <laughs> That's gonna be my new saying. Easy squeezy. <sighs> so I guess there's no reason for me to sub to your Twitch anymore? What? No, I'm still on Twitch. I just stream on YouTube occasionally. <clears throat> but if you're looking for value, then Twitch is for my streams, YouTube. Oh, this guy is just...
<laughs> okay, I'm wasting ammo. Uh, This weapon sucks balls. I don't like it. Doc, you in here? It's me. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. Wait, is Nicole my girlfriend? My wife. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Thanks. It's just so hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to you again. He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. However, unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Unitology is a big enough is big enough to take care of itself. This is what it was right for me. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to. Doctor Brennan, sorry, I. Did something happen? I had a patient who. I tried, and her son tried so hard, but she, but she, I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. I don't remember the story of this game. There's a church? Alright, next time we have a fight, I need to stay calm. It's the only way I actually live and play well. If I start going, ah! I'm not gonna shoot anyone. Bit luck from the uh, poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to abandon the artifact. Appears to be a genuine marker, but the first to be found since Unitology's founding. I must get it on board on the first time so I can begin a proper study. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offers revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? <sighs> what wonders could it offer to humanity to the Church of Unitology without EarthGov here to seize them first? This marker could herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my best my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the church and its teachings comforted me, saved me, and now I'm here in the right place at the right time to be of service to all humanity to repay those blessings. Amelia, if only you could be here now. That's how we get through the text lore. We just fucking speed run it. There's one more room, right? What the fuck? Oh my god, that's creepy as hell. You don't have any... Any loot? Give me the loot. I missed that. Can you start over? Tissue sample needed. Oh, okay. What, just any? I to find some. Uh, what do you guys think of the game so far? From how it looks. Now explain to the class what you got from that. The marker. Sunito. The marker. Oh, the black marker. It could be huge for the... 
Scientology. The Church of, um, Unitology. Oh, that's it. That's basically what it said. Good, but it's too dark in my opinion. Really? I 100% disagree. I think it sets the mood so well. Looks beautiful. Is it worth the buy, though? You want my review? If you're... Someone who... If you're a millennial, and you played the OG Dead Space, then buy it on sale. If you never played the OG Dead Space, or you're a millennial and never played... The age doesn't matter. If you never played the OG Dead Space, then yes, it's worth it. For the full price. Um, but if you played the OG one, then I would say buy it on sale. I don't think it's worth it for the full price. That's my review right now, but I haven't... Maybe as I get further, I notice way more gameplay improvements and, like, boss fights being better. But right now, it just feels like a very well done remake of the OG Dead Space. I simply start. Beautiful. I'd argue it's worth full price more if you played the original. It's a great remake. Yeah, I would argue... I wouldn't argue against that. I could see myself agreeing with that. If you're a big, big fan. But if you just played it, and you're like, yeah, that was good, then I wouldn't say this is worth the replay. Like, I, I don't know. I think it's just up to you if you want to play it or not. If you find it worth. <laughs> don't buy it at full price. Expecting a bunch of new shit. It still just feels like dead space. They say everything happens... For a reason. For a... Lot of good. But something... It's for... Hand? Hard? Something is too... Sometimes it's too hard to believe. I just want to see my daughter... One more time. This is it for me. Is this the end? <laughs> yeah, it says on the wall. Hey, little buddy. May I see your arms, please? Your limbs? There they are. Thank you. Okay, great. Oh! What? Okay. Yeah. Do your thing. Is there a spike around? I feel like I'm wasting so much ammo on this guy. Oi. Hey, it worked! <laughs> okay, any object damages. from Lille. Clerk Lair, Zoe, specimen 46 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. Here's a clerical error. One of them bought CC block stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on, on it. Trust me. Before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Hi Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. <laughs> All we have to do is just absolutely- WHAT THE FUCK?! WHAT THE FUCK IS THIS?! NO! What? 
รีบรีบรีบรีบรีบรีบรีบอาวว่าไม่ต้องทำอะไรกับพวกเขาเลยอ oh, oh, I didn't shoot there. That was your imagination. Open up. They're like shielded. You prick. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Babushka. I'm just gonna go check on my dogs. Make sure they're still asleep. One dog asleep. Couldn't find that guy. He must have been in there as well. Hmm. <sighs> Why are we all doing skulls? Shark pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. Anti-explosive charge. Is that a baby? I swear I just heard a baby. I heard like a.
dead yet. Honestly, guys, wasn't even close. <laughs> easy squeezy, guys. Easy squeezy. Hey, Cog. First time catching the stream, donating and donating. Been watching your videos for many years. You've always put a smile on my face. Thanks, man. It's for the five dollars. What? Oh, right. I'm planting it. Yeah. Let's go to the store first. Schematic submitted. Item now available for purchase. Schematisch. Uh, nice. Did I get anything cool? No. Can I buy just normal ammo? Was that one of the schematics? Yeah. Pam playing Persona 5 Royale. What's that? Shark Connery. I like to slap women. Give him a good slap every now and then. Yes. I love that interview where... So I want to say that I'm all against slapping women. <clears throat> but... I love that interview where... Sean Connery is interviewed about... The interviewer is like... She really confronts him on it thinking like, I got you. And he doesn't even like... He just... Are you quoting it? I don't remember it that well. Now I have to see it. Let's have a look at it. Oh, did I say but? <laughs> okay, no, hold on. I'll choose my words wisely. Don't worry. Sean Connery slap women interview. Playing golf with, with men than women. The fuck is this? Years ago, you did an interview which may come back to haunt you. What, you know what I'm going to say, right? No. Okay, you did an interview in which... She really confronts him about it, thinking like, I've got you now. And he just doubles down. You said, uh, not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist, it's better to do it with an open hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. Uh, you haven't? <laughs> no, not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. I you don't think, think it's bad. It must... I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Yeah. Well, what would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, they, they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't they want to have the, the, the last word, and you give them the laugh, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again and, and get into a really provocative situation. Then... <laughs> I think it's absolutely right. To give her a good slap? Yeah, absolutely. What if she gives you a good slap back? Well, then you get into another area. I mean, uh, then maybe she's getting to like it, and then it becomes something else. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, I, seriously, I think that uh, it's the last resort. He's not going to do it because he wants to do it. Huh? Wait till people she's see this interview. You're going to get mail. Might get some female. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, there's just something about it, man. The way, <laughs> the way he just fully just doesn't back down. He's just like, yes, yes. <laughs> no, it's obviously awful. It's just so funny how he's really just, he doesn't give any fucks. He's just like, yeah, he's really just a man of his time, man. Where, like, you slapped kids and women got slapped and... 
everything was just a bit more violent, I guess. There's just something about it, man. The way he's just like, he's just stuck in that way. He's just, yes. Yes, every now and then they get a good slap. Did I save? I don't think I saved. Level two security clearance required. Hi, Rush. Okay, you could have told me a little earlier. <laughs> oh, do I not take cover here? Oh, I'm a little scared. Where do I take cover? Oh, just in here? How, how small is this explosion? Sons of Istvan, I just want to say you always make my day when I watch your videos. Thanks, man. Thanks for the ten dollars. Appreciate it. It's very nice. Trying really hard to get a small cancel culture vacation. No, if I want a vacation, I, I take a vacation. No, I am. Um, no, no, I'm not here. Sat, sat going. I love that guy. Look at the way that he stands by a, an alpha opinion. Like the guy's wrong. What's funny is just how it looks like a skit. <laughs> it's, you're allowed to say that something's funny while still not agreeing with them. Plasma cutter upgrade. Bring it to the bench. Security clearance required. <laughs> Fuck this ship. <laughs> We're gonna have a fight. I can sense it. Oh! Oh! Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the uh, colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in the doubt. Uh, two security officers were present when he took Dr. Ciarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. Oh, he's kind of like, uh, <laughs> he's kind of like, uh, sh he shows no remorse. Uh, in fact, he insists there was no, there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is a classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is a fable and friendly, able to empathize. Uh, empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans's murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes, inter undergoes intermittent hallucinatory per periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Uh, 
Hey Tio, love the content. I join your stream for the first time and I hear now I'm against hitting women, but the funniest way to nearly cancel yourself. Did I really say I'm against hitting women, but? <laughs> That's what a terrible way to phrase what I was about to say. Uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Shit. Maybe I have some PHP left. Where did she go next? I'll follow her hologram. Uh, where'd she go? In there. Then I. Oh, we're going into the shower. Oh. Oh no. Okay. What? Why am I turning the showers on? Power. I'm a little confuzzled. in here. Oh, okay, I have to do something with a battery, I think. Uh, no power is being used on the circuit breaker. No power. Uh, okay. There's a suspiciously placed spike right there. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Where's the kid? Oh. oh, what now? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Kill the baby! Where'd it go? Did I get it? Oh my god! I'm about to die. Oh! Saved. Alright, chat. We're a little impressed I haven't died yet, right? Oh my god, what a... What a... What, a, what an art piece. I could see this being in one of those... You know those creepy... Um... Like, uh... Surrealism... Kind of those, like, really creepy surrealism paintings this could totally be in it in like a wasteland you know with like thunder in the background and it's like it's here in the front like and it's slowly rotating yeah it's a little yeah this is an art piece for sure 
don't like the way it's moving. <laughs> uh, right, so, battery time. Hey Ben, is mayonnaise an instrument? No, stupid question. Thanks for the five bucks. <sighs> Hi, Zombie Lovax. Thank you. I don't like these guys, man. They're too strong. Am I missing something with how I'm meant to kill them? Why is he killing them? Oi! YouTuber just trying it out. Oh, I'm just trying it out. No, I'm not just trying it out. No, I've been I've been streaming on YouTube uh, since like August, but just irregularly. It's been a couple months now since the last one because I like doing like set streams here. On Twitch, you can very much just go live if you want to go live, and you can play anything and kind of vibe. You can't do that on YouTube. Hello? Oh, did I miss a cutscene with you? I'm sorry. <sighs> Why not? You have to prepare a thumbnail beforehand. On Twitch, you go there and expect people to be live, and you can just go to them. And there's no algorithm regarding, like... So here, if I just go live, and it's just some shitty thumbnail, and I just go live suddenly, I won't have as many viewers, and I don't mind that. I do it on Twitch all the time with random shit. But here on YouTube, that'll affect, um... My... Channel. It'll affect my videos, and... If my video- so let's say I come live with just random, I'm just chatting and then play some weird indie game and like I'm just vibing and like, the thumbnails just default and stuff. If you see that and don't click on it, that could lead to a lot of you guys not getting my videos recommended to you. Um, so on YouTube you very much have to kind of plan your streams if you're gonna stream here. I love streaming here, but unfortunately I have to kind of try hard it if I'm gonna stream here. So, I don't mind it. I go live here every now and then if I have a game that I think uh, looks good. It's much higher quality on YouTube. Um, so like story games like this works really well. I just have to, you know, have it planned out. Ooh, what a beautiful shot. This looks like uh, The Last of Us. <laughs> What? Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What do I do here? What do I do against you? Got so many bullets to kill this thing. Oh, it worked. I dodged it. That's the first time that's actually worked. Jabba
Have you guys noticed how you very often can hear the heartbeat of Isaac? I don't remember that being a thing in the first one. Like, as I'm moving around, I'm constantly hearing his heartbeat. It's my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Math Matthias, Math Matthias, Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surviving, surrounding his death are conflicted. Conflicted. Subject was in generally good health for his age. A natural death. It's called footsteps. No, no, no. There's uh, his heartbeat plays after fights. You can hear his heartbeat subtly. Now it stopped. No, you can still hear it now. I don't know if it's coming through on stream. Can you guys hear it? There's like a subtle... Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. No. But, you, but it gets louder when you've been in a fight. Oh shit. Cool cutscene. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. You don't care at all! Seven ammo, baby. I'm <laughs> <laughs> a little bit low. <laughs> Uh, barely alive. Fuck me. Oh, transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chin. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Oh, nice. That'd be good. I'd love to find some health. Your clearance is now level 1. There's been so many places where you needed level 1 that I haven't been able to open. Am I meant to... Retrace my steps? Yo, 
That was a little silly. Clearance confirmed. I out of ammo? Oh shit. How do I do mines? Isaac. I'm here. What the hell is happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh god. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm gonna hang over there. Okay. Uh... How do I do mines? Must be aim and space, right? Let's get some lights going. Where did I put the spike? Shop around here? No? Where am I going? Over here. Ah. Oh, I'm feeling really paranoid and scared. Chad, I think this might be it. I think I'm dead. Let me go get that spike, and let's go for it. Okay, I buy two of you. I sell. Uh, I sell pulse rounds. And then I buy plasma energy. <laughs> another med. There we go. What's this? Oh, plasma cutter upgrade. Right, I could do that.
Level two, security clearance required. Should we change suit? I could do the the horns, the antlers. Let's do it. It's antler time. Horseradish isn't an instrument either. No, unfortunately not. Sorry to be the premier bad. Skins in the remake? There were skins in the OG one as well, weren't there? Or was that Dead Space 2, maybe? move when you walk oh they're like twitching oh no This part is really difficult. Chat. Now at flight deck we made it far. But I think that's it. I just remember, maybe it's not here. I remember a big fight. Oh, I never left. I thought it... What? This looks the same. Oh, okay. Uh... You have 10 minutes left to live before I get to take everyone's points in Twitch chat. Oh, did you guys make a bet over there? Oh shit, okay. Way to put pressure on me. Yeah. What's in here? Medical. Maybe some meds? Oh, bench. Bench. Time to upgrade. Plasma cutter upgrade, graph extended. A new special ability is now accessible. Very nice. Let's do it. Plasma cutter. Wait, how do I do that? Ah, you fucking prick. Oh, and the animation. How do I do the the upgrade that they're talking about? Special two. Oh, I have to get to it. Greatly increases ammunition capacity. Hmm. Well, I'm not doing air, so yeah. Oh yeah, you need nodes to unlock doors. Thanks for the reminder. I'll remember that. Do I explore? Maybe we explore a little. Uh. Um. 
Wait, where the hell am I back? Oh, I can go in here now. Ooh, babe. Ah! Fuck. Was that in there? What is that? Okay, that's great. I mean, wh oh, what the hell? He's in the way! Ow! What the fuck is this? What? a big waste. Can I move this now? Thank you. <laughs> why, why would they have them just like orgy up in here? Yo 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 See ya Tick 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 Head on my hips? Really? Blood suit, please? Really? You don't like the antlers? Too goofy? Shit. Oh, I have no stasis. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my lord! Stop giving me pulse rounds! Oh, this is actually too dark for me. I don't want to play this. Oh shit. Okay. 
Cool. You know, there was something about the time that this game came out where they loved... You know what this game reminds me of a little bit? If you unequip whatever weapon you're not using, it'll only drop ammo for whatever weapon you have. Oh shit, really? Oh great. Oh, let's do that. You know what game, what this game reminds me of? It reminds me of, it comes from a time where... Can I not unequip it? Okay. Where... With, 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 um... It reminds me of Half-Life 2 mods. It's got the sim a similar vibe to some of the Half-Life 2 mods that came out. Audit stories. of Half-Life mods were there. Was there one called Afraid of Monsters? I think it's reminding me of that. Anyone remember this stuff? Or am I being Grandpa Tia? Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar door. I'll open them now. Oh, Nightmare House was good. Nightmare House 2. That was good shit. You'll need your thrusters to reach oh yeah, there's a skull on my hip. Look at that. I made this outfit a little cooler. I not done? Oh shit. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What? Like I was that slow. <laughs> That's my death after all that time. <laughs> was I? Did I miss something? I must have missed a station. They're usually really lax with that stuff. All right, we're on hard. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not upgrading air. <laughs> oh no. He died one minute after that timer ended. Ah, oh, hell yeah! Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar door. I'll I must have missed now. something. After three hours of gameplay, that's what I died to? Fucking air? You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering.
Dude, I should have just gone back. I would have made that. Ten, what did I have, like 15 seconds when I was here? After killing these guys? Oh, there's an oxygen station right there! God damn it! It was right next to me! Oi! This is great. Hello? Hello? Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm skipping them. All I had to do was that, man. I should have just looked around. I did think it was weird how quickly I ran out of air, considering I had to fight people. It's like the boss of the... Open up! <laughs> we are not punished for our sins. By them. We are not punished- oh! We are not punished for our sins. But by them. That makes more sense. Uh, yeah, the only uh, hard and uh, impossible is the same difficulty. Yeah! Fuck off! Hard and uh, impossible are the same difficulty. It's just that impossible is like a challenge. You're not meant to die. Engineering vlog. Vlog. Danvers. Organic growth and engineering. Added this to my maintenance priority request. There's something in writing will make them pay attention. The unidentified growth reported elsewhere on the ship has reached engineering. Not even medical knows what the hell this stuff is. It looks like someone threw their guts up all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it up. Which is pretty disgusting in itself. Yo, yo, yo. Good night. Championeer, championer. Warning. Orbital position compromised. Correct course. The pinned ended. comment in the chat is, "I'm playing on impossible <laughs> difficulty, like a chat." Uh, this is no longer true. I'm not going to bed. Are you not? Did I read the long? Oh, Tio is gonna go to bed tonight, just thinking- I thought you said I'm gonna go to bed tonight. Sorry. You're off to bed. Uh, this isn't even where I'm meant to go right now. I removed that pin- pin immediately. You did?! Why?! It's still there for me! It's the best pin! Why would you remove it?! Hobo, explain yourself. Log, acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple reporting. I still can't believe the chief is gone. It's all fallen apart since the captain died. Everyone down here is on their last nerve. We thought the rioting was the worst of it. Until those things came through the vents. Their faces. Fuck, those were my lunch buddies. Liz's friends. Old boyfriends. And out of nowhere, the engines are screwed. Primary's laboring, we're hemorrhaging fuel. Fuck if I know why. 
I'm taking Danvers to the fuel depot to fix it. Gotta keep the team focused or they'll crack. Temple out. Either this guy's meant to be like a psychopath, or I don't think the voice actor put enough um, energy into the voice acting. Fuck, those were my those were my lunch buddies. <laughs> he didn't really seem to care much. <laughs> I feel like you should say, fuck. Those are my lunch buddies. My friends. You know. Fuck. Those were my lunch buddies. It, it has very... Oh, hi, Mark. Has that kind of, uh, that kind of vibe. Should we move over the rifle? If we go here, we to storage. And then we sell all plasma rounds. Hi, Joja Kula. Feel better. Isn't this a game where you complain about a guy's voice acting when he saws off his arm? Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, and I, I did a way better version. Yeah, you're right. Wasn't that Dead Space 2? Oh, the memory on this guy. on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's You'd think he'd be like, planet. Isaac, what the fuck alone? have you done? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel What running, the fuck are those hands on your head? Restart. But you'll need the stabilizer orbit from there. Standing by. Hammond, what do you mean? This is my art project. I had some spare time in the elevator. This will invoke fear in the enemy. Psychological warfare is number one warfare. Sun Tzu, the art of war. <laughs> Keep up, Hammond. This is a battle and we're losing. already gone completely insane. <laughs> yes, sir, but that's not the point. Holy shit, dude. Ripper blades! Should I equip it? May as well. Ripper! I have a lot of ammo for it. Awesome. Security request retrieved. We need help! 
Jump down in engineering. Denver's got those wires up. I don't want to. I don't want to. the medical bay and a shrink ah! fucking gamer reactions holy shit get fucked dude the way i whipped on him Hey, good night. People sleeping. First, you take their food, get them desperate. Next, you grab a big ass bomb. And lastly, boom. I've only died once. I'm a little surprised. Oh, that hurt me big time. Ay ay ay. Warning. Fuel preserves depleted. Main engines offline. Something must be up here, right? Or am I going here later, maybe? Uh, I think I'd be going here later. That's what I'm looking for. Store. One nice little safe switch. You know you have to do a full playthrough of Impossible now, right? No. God, no. No, that... No, I... Listen, I can take playing one Pogo Stuck map for 40 hours. I don't think I can take it with that space. My heart would give up. It, it, could, it wouldn't be able to handle it. Or does this look easier compared to other games? Ah, that tends to happen when you have a god gamer playing. I mean, Olympians make uh, jumping look easy, but then you go on the field and you can jump a meter and a half. That's me. I'm that Olympian. I'm that Olympian. 
Yeah, you struggle to find the go live button. Yeah, that's fair, man. Progress report filed by Jacob Temple. The engine problems aren't a malfunction. Someone shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves to hell and back. We just wasted an hour fixing them. Hi, Felix. Now we Thank need you. to restart the south oh, refueling station, but some jackass turned off the power and locked up the circuit breaker. No engines? We're gonna hit planet fall soon. What now? There's gotta be someone around here how to spare access card. Go. Wait, you hear that? Never go! Oh, I had a stasis thing. Uh, is this an armored one? I just gave him a body block. Jesus. What do you think of the remake so far? It's good, yeah, I'm liking it. Hey. What's that other one though? The guy who went in here wasn't, oh God. Isaac, damn it. Daniels? You made it. You made it. God. After the bridge, we saw the- Glad to disappoint. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I've tracked down your rig. You're in engineering, right? I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help you. Oh, shit, Daniels. He's not gonna make it. Clearance confirmed. Right. This is great. If we could once just be able to open a door without having to turn off the lights, I'd love that. Behind me. Oh, I thought there was one behind me. Yeah, I died to air. It's the only death I've had. Dying lights. Oh, dying light. <laughs> oh, they're getting out dead space. A dead light. Dead lamps. Alright. This is where comedy comes to die. Welcome, everyone. Holy shit, he's behind me as well. I'm out of here. Making sound about. Who throws a shoot? <laughs> What's that a quote from? Who throws a shoot? Quoting with that. Austin Powers. Dude, I could easily watch. Whoa! Sorry, that was a bit of a dramatic reaction. Take his skull, feed it to him. Uh, 
Um, I I could I could take another Austin Powers movie. I feel like you know what I'd love. Austin Powers was made to make fun of the Bond movies at the time. Maybe like an Austin Powers uh, that makes fun of uh, superhero movies in some way. I don't know if it could be done. I'm just spitballing you. I still need to get the centrifuge working before we start. Someone really screwed with these fuel lines. Move fast, Isaac. EJ7's looking damn close out there. I say Mike Myers is too hard to work with or some shit. Oh, really? It's a shame. That yeah, is kind of like the boys. Oh, get fucked. Yeah, I think the. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Move, 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 move. Yeah, you'd have to make fun of the Kingsman kind of vibe. Just do Austin Powers again. <laughs> Must be so fun to animate this. Remember this? Since when is this what this thing does? Oh my god, okay. Yeah. I have to really get in there. Okay. Did they change that? Was that how it always was? What a gross weapon. does if you click you can shoot saw blades as well Is the game hard? Um, no, not yet. This guy's just tea posing. Come on, then. What's this for? 
Why is there a battery here? It would be hilarious if we finished the game without dying again and lost the impossible chance just because of that air death. No, it wouldn't. I would cry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought it was a battery. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, this... No, I will cry here. This is a really tough sequence, guys. No, I have a memory. I have a distinct memory of playing this five years ago and struggling. I, I spent like 15 attempts on this. Get ready. Here we go. Come. Oh, I thought that was... Oh. No, man. <laughs> no, I must be thinking of a different room. I must be thinking of a completely different room. I remember a room in which you meet, like, probably a total of, like, 18 different people. Maybe I'm thinking of Dead Space 2. <laughs> I only met four different people here. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. No, there, there's... <laughs> I was so focused as well, because I really thought that would go on for a really long time. Like, I was really trying to preserve my ammo, thinking I'm going to be using all of it. <laughs> You're just better now? No! I didn't spend 15 attempts on four enemies. <laughs> I'm thinking of something different. Coordinate? <laughs> yeah, that was this phase two. Yeah, and I'd put it on epic music, trying to finish it. I did that a lot, actually.
Oh. Is this a boss fight? This feels like a boss fight save. This is such an odd spot for a save. This is a boss fight. Chat, get ready. Boss fight time. Imagine dying. <laughs> All right, here we go. Show me it in like a nice directional book or something. Ah, I see what I have to do. It's spinning. the centrifuge. They definitely die faster. Maybe... Maybe you're just used to the game more. Maybe we're, like, used to the game, so it doesn't feel like it's as hard as it was the first time around, you know? It. I had it before. Manually ignite the engines. Oh shit. Okay. Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Yeah. Ready when you are. Right. Ready. How do I get oxygen? Uh, 
Now go! Are you walking? Oh shit! <laughs> oh! Shoot it in the glowy parts! Use this instead here. That I genuinely almost corrupted my save. <laughs> Ty? Yong? You there? What's keeping them? The centrifuge is still offline. We're still running out of time. No wriggling contact since they left, Chief. They're gone, aren't they? But we armed them with everything we had. They'd have sent word if there was trouble. What, did they fall down a fucking hole? Fuck! There's a full tectonic load hanging off our ass. What if we turn off the gravity tethers, drop the load, buy ourselves time? I tried. Unless I rip out half the ship's wiring, it takes a CEC board member's override to drop all that ore. Can't risk fucking off the shore uh, shareholders. And without that centrifuge to balance the, balance the ship, we're talking planet fallen. Ours. If we're that lucky. What do we think? Anybody want some sushi? Over here. Oh, is this where I went earlier? Yep. Boop. Oh, here we go, chat. Hold on. It's not over yet. This is what I was talking about. Oh, never mind. Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm talking. I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm remembering. <laughs> More absences. It's not just a unitologist sneaking off for religious exemptions or whatever. We're seeing serious gaps in the rotation. People going on sick with sleep deprivation, self-inflicted injuries, or just disappearing. They go off shift and they don't come back. Someone said the ship's been attacked. Bullshit. We're at the ass end of nowhere. Who'd come all this way to attack a mining ship? And yeah, the captain's great. The captain's dead. But Carmack says one of the bridge staff killed him. I swear to God, the rumors on this deck are out of control. Lost contact with the bridge. No rig link, no security hardline, nothing. Okay, this is beyond rumors. Fuck this. I'm getting out while I still can. Clearance confirmed. Thank. Gimme, gimme. Captain is great. I love him. I love that man. <laughs> I 
Dude, I've, I actually believe in, um, I believe in Liam Neeson. <laughs> uh, regarding the Austin Powers thing. They have, um, the Naked Police, is that what it's called? The ones with, um, Leslie Nielsen in the 80s. All the comedy action, the, all the comedy movies. <laughs> They're remaking them with Liam Neeson and Seth MacFarlane is like directing or something. Um, I think they're gonna, they've been talking about it for years. I remember reading about it like five years ago. Um, and being just as an idea, it was just an idea at that point. Yeah, the Naked Gun. Um, to, to d redo the Naked Gun movies, same style, but with Liam Neeson. And I realized, holy shit, I think this fits perfectly. Not only is his name incredibly similar to Leslie Nielsen. Uh, no, I, I, I just think... Um, I believe Leslie Nielsen used to be more of an action guy. And then as he got older, he just did one, like, Naked Gun comedy or something. And then he completely turned over to comedy. And I could totally see Liam Neeson going down the same path. If you've ever seen the skit with um, uh, Ricky Gervais, I think uh, Liam Neeson definitely has the comedic timing for it. So personally... I'm a believer, but that's not what everyone thinks. Some people say, let naked gun movies lie, and let's not try to reignite that magic. But personally, I think it could work. Um, just based on the action movies that Liam Neeson has done and that straight face acting that he does, I think he could transform that into comedy with a good script. Um, yeah, so I'm quite excited about that. I think uh, rumor is they're going to start... I think I read that they're planning on starting to... Uh, start filming the first one. Or, you know, filming one this uh, summer. We'll see. I don't know about Seth MacFarlane. I think he's the one who pitched it and stuff. I don't know about his comedy if it fits, but... We'll see. I mean, anything to me, anything... Any attempt to bring back comedies, I'm all for. I think, uh... It's... Very shit these days with movies, how, like... I think Marvel has kind of ruined comedies. Everything's just an action comedy. And not that I don't like an action comedy, but I think that's, that, that just like straight comedy, like 21 Jump Street, just a comedy. Well, that's actually a bit of an action comedy, but um, I don't know, I, I miss them. I think I, I don't mind if it's, there's action in it, but I, I think I miss where it's more comedy than action. A lot of comedies these days are just action comedies. Whereas I like comedies that have some action in them or have some this or that. Um, yeah, we haven't really had much of that. So, even if you're doubting the Naked Gun reboot with Liam Neeson, if you're into comedy movies, you should hope that it does well. Because I think if they do well, that could be the return of genuine comedy movies. We don't really get those recently. Oh, I love the uh, nice guys here. Yeah. Thank you, Richard Perez. Richard Perez, thanks for the seven years of watching. Much love for that. I'm gonna end uh, the first session there, guys. I'm a little tired. It was a very stressful day, so 11:30 feels good. Good time to end it. Uh, boop. Oh. Boopity boopity. Let's see what the stats say about this computer. All right, good temps. I uh, I've only just started using this. God, I have such heads in here. Look at this. <laughs> Oh no, what's this? What is this? Ugh. Uh, the computer's relatively new, uh, so I'm keeping track of temperatures and stuff. Looking alright. <laughs> Next stream of Dead Series will probably also be on YouTube, right? Yeah, I'll be playing through this game here on YouTube.
Yeah, exactly, Mr. Trick. That's why I think it'll work. I feel like he has a similar path to Liam Neeson. Or Liam Neeson has a similar path to uh, Liam N Nielsen. Leslie Nelson. Ah, fuck it. A program for temps? Uh, hardware monitor. Hardware monitor. Yeah, the chat is um, kind of glitchy. I don't know why. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to go take the doggies out for a nice walk, but I will see you either tomorrow or Sunday for some more Dead Space here on YouTube. And if I don't see you tomorrow here on YouTube with Dead Space, then I'll probably be on Twitch with something else. Uh, I haven't really planned the weekend yet, but we'll be finishing this game here on YouTube. Um, also, keep an eye out for uh, Escape from Tarkov. Videos edited and done by Sunset Chicken. And that goes live Sunday. Um, but it's up right now if you remember. So if you remember, go watch it. Walking your dogs this late? Yeah, I often get that comment. And I don't know what people mean when they're surprised by that. I always take the dogs out last, last thing I do before I sleep. I'll go for a nice walk. That way they're tired. Um, I am zoning out a little. I'm very tired. So I will see you guys around. I'll see you this weekend. Much love, guys. Bye.